Last year was the first year I attempted to grow Jerusalem artichokes. So this year I have, I'm gonna show you what they look like. I have a bucket here of Jerusalem artichokes. And before they begin to sprout again, I am going to harvest them because the weather dictates what begins to grow. And if we don't know when stuff starts to wake up, then it will begin to grow again because they're perennial and I don't want them to start growing. I want to harvest them. So I'm just gonna cut the tops off. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm cutting the tops off. Just tossing them on the ground for right now. And I am taking this bucket and turning it upside down. Now, I know there are Jerusalem artichokes in this bucket because this bucket is pretty heavy and it feels like uh, the artichokes have tried to bust out the bottom of the bucket. And I could be wrong, but I doubt that. Now, this is the root ball that I just took out of that bucket. And as you can see, the roots are nice and green. They are very much alive. So I'm curious to find out exactly uh, what's in this root ball. Now, like I mentioned, I've never grown these before. So I'm hoping that I get some type of harvest. And it looks like I did. Here's one right here. Look at that. That's one tiny little bitty guy. I'm actually gonna put him back in the white bucket. I'm just gonna take him off just like that. And I hope I get more than that, but we'll see. Like I said, this is the first time me growing Jerusalem artichokes and they can grow in pretty much any type of soil. They're very forgiving. And I wanna say I had just one tuber and the tubers look like kind of like ginger oh, look at that guys can you guys see that that is a jerusalem artichoke wow look at that so i'm going to take that out like that yeah and they were at the oh my goodness yeah it was at the bottom of the bucket look at that and the reason why i put these in the bucket is because they will try to find food, a food source and they will spread in the ground. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, wow. In the bucket it goes. So all of this soil is going to go back in the bucket and any, anything like this is going to go into the municipal trash can because any of these roots any little piece of that will grow a Jerusalem artichoke and I don't want that in my compost now I have a sneaky suspicion that that's all I'm going to get because this just feels like root mass and I'm not sad or saddened by that because again this was an experiment I've never grown them before and having any, any type of growth is better than no growth because it was an experiment. Now, I do believe they probably need more space or maybe they needed more time. There is no telling. Like I said, there was an experiment. I had them in the house. I thought they died completely and come to find out they had not. So I put them outside, they re-sprouted and grew again for a second time. And this is what I got. So here is another tiny little Jerusalem artichoke. Can you guys see that? Here's another tiny little Jerusalem artichoke. There we go. Hope you guys can see that. I can't really tell what you guys can see because the camera is facing away from me the screen is facing away from me and this is all Jerusalem artichoke root mass so I am going to take this and I said like I mentioned put this in the municipal trash because I do not want that 
in my compost. I will have Jerusalem artichoke everywhere in the garden if I put that in the compost bin. So I didn't get much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just replant this and see if it'll give me more this season. So I'm just going to pot it up. Now I had some fertilizer in the bottom of this bucket. So I am just going to mix this bucket up, repot these tiny little Jerusalem artichoke, and we'll start this process all over again this year. So in the winter time, around about December of 2021, I will harvest Jerusalem, this Jerusalem artichoke bucket again and see how much I get out of it. So I'm just gonna mix this soil up with that fertilizer that I have in the bottom, put this soil back in the bucket, and that's it for me for my very first ever harvest of Jerusalem artichoke.